Do you ever think about where the water goes after you've flushed the toilet? It gets mixed in with the water from your shower, sink, washing machine, and even a few of the storm drains outside on the street. All this wastewater, and everything in it, takes an epic journey through our city's sewer pipes to Lynchburg's Regional Water Resource Recovery Facility. It first arrives at the Headworks Building, where screens and rakes pull out any large, hard debris items like sticks, plastic bags, or soda cans. The second thing we do in the Headworks Building is filter out any small, hard, sand-like particles called grit. Grit could be broken up eggshells, coffee grounds, or just straight up sand. We have to get all this stuff out of the water so it doesn't clog up the pumps later in the process. From the Headworks Building, water is sent over into these two huge basins called our primary clarifiers, where angled blades along the bottom sweep sediment toward a pit in the center of the basin, while scum is skimmed from the top. The solids we collect are then pumped over to a sludge holding tank for processing. The water has about 60% of its gunk cleaned out at this point as it heads over to the next major part of the process, the aeration basins. This part is so cool. We have bacteria and other microorganisms put into the water, which we keep active by blasting air into it on and off through about 18,000 little air diffusers along the bottom of the basin. With all the churning of the water, these little organisms consume organic material. That's right, you heard me. Lynchburg has little bugs that eat our poop. Once the water goes through the aeration basins, it drains out into another set of four basins called the secondary clarifiers. Here, the same sediment sweeping process occurs like we did in the primary clarifiers, but now, depending on their appetite, the activated sludge we collect can actually be sent back over into the aeration basins for another round of eating. Now, we also have to treat the solid material we've removed from the wastewater. This extra sludge we collect is pumped through our centrifuges, which spin at an insanely high speed to separate the fluids from the solids. Polymer is added to enhance the dewatering process. We then add lime to the thickened solids before it drops into a trailer to either be hauled to a landfill as sludge or applied on farmland as biosolids like fertilizer. With all the sludge removed, our water is in pretty good shape at this point. It'll then head to the chlorine contact tanks, where it is mixed with chlorine, just like you'd use in a swimming pool to keep the water clear of dangerous bacteria and viruses. Though chlorine is fine for us to swim in, it can be harmful to other aquatic life. So we do a little chemistry work and inject the water with sodium bisulfate, which takes the chlorine out. This is where our job is complete. The entire treatment process takes between 10 to 14 hours on average. And when it's all done, we send the water through a large pipe under the railroad tracks where it goes back into the James River. The water going into the James is actually cleaner than the natural river water. So if a friend invites you to go kayaking on the James, don't worry, you're in the clear. Lynchburg Water Resources. We are stewards of the James, working 24-7 to keep our water safe and clean.